first started sailing about the age of five um, at 1G Amateur Sailing Club uh, as a crew on a two-up sabo. I sailed sabos for about eight years, uh, six years as two-ups and then the final two years as a one-up. Well, the first boat that I sailed um, was called Mad Matt. I was a, a crew on that boat and then uh, after two years the first boat that I got to steer was called Wipeout which was Matt's brother's boat. You know I was probably like most kids a bit scared to start with as well but once I was um, you know a little older and started steering a boat when I was about seven I really loved just coming down to the sailing club and you know hanging out with my mates and going sailing and mucking around in the mornings and then um, doing some racing and, and then from that it grew into traveling and I remember all the northern zones that I used to go to around the lake and up to Taree and then go to Sydney to sail against the southern New South Wales guys. Um, you know, it was just a fun adventure you know, on top of uh, you know, a pretty cool sport. Went up to Yapoon and, uh, and won the national titles up there against pretty much the same guys that I was sailing at the year before, guys like Sandy Cavill from Queensland and Jackie Bonacher, Joe Turner and um, yeah, it was, it was a good way to finish off the Sabo career. So after Sabos I moved into the Flying Eleven class um, where I won a national title sailing with Ian Jensen who I sailed with in the 49er now and then moved into the 29er class, it was a um, brand new class and went to my first Youth Worlds in the 29ers uh, winning a gold medal with Aidan Menzies and from there I moved into the 420 classes that was the, the Youth Worlds boat for the, the following two years and so competed in three Youth Worlds winning a gold medal at each one and the final one was with Ian Jensen. And then from the Youth Worlds progressed into the 49er class, which I've been sailing now for the last eight years, um, competing at the China Olympics as well as London and um, winning four world titles along the way and a gold medal in London. Oh, I'd say without a doubt, my greatest achievement is winning a gold medal in London. It's um, a very difficult thing uh, to win an Olympic medal and to, to do it you have to put your heart and soul into it and you have to you know spend every minute of every day focusing on that goal and uh, you know it's very satisfying being able to do that. Yeah I guess probably one of the biggest tips I'd give to um, young sailors is to, to get out there as much as you can and enjoy your sailing but most of all um, work with all the other guys that you sail with. You know you, you think of them as competitors but um, when you're training for the Olympics like we are at the top level they're your mates, they're the guys who help you get better, you, you help each other get better and, and the better you can make your competitors, the more chance you have of beating the real competitors which are the guys from overseas.